and welcome to Hey Queen Hot Tea. Oh, the show where we sip celebrity gossip. Mmm. Unsubstantiated. And we throw Hollywood shade. It's 2017, the year in review. Yeah. yeah. a panel of the most hilarious people in the world to help me review the most delicious tea we have served you over this past year. Starting with one of the most beautiful women in the world. Mm. Her work in the Versace runways in 1991, oh. 1992, and 1998 when she made a comeback. <laughs> made all the other supermodels kill themselves. It's <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Julie Goldman! Yeah. That was my heyday! 1991, 92, 98. 98. After I lost the weight, oh. but then in 99 I gained it back. Oh, shit! <laughs> Up next, uh, Miss Brandy Howard is off working on a very expensive Hollywood project today. <laughs> Get that money, honey. But we have another cute, skinny blonde in her place. <laughs> it's Hey Queen's musical director, super DJ, and super singer songwriter, Mr. Adam Joseph! Yeah. 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 Hot tea! Yeah, how you doing, John? Oh my oh. God! Yes, Adam is the voice of the Hot Tea theme song. It's not a choir of screaming black ladies or a lady rat. It's actually Mr. Adamita Josefita. That's me. Blink. <laughs> um, all right, now we have a very special guest today. Lady Red is sick. She's at home today, unfortunately. So we're sending her our love. But luckily, we found another queen, just as beautiful, just as soulful. Known for her big black beauty, <laughs> it's Miss Pandora Box. Yay! Yay! The complete polar opposite of Lady Ryan Couture is here. We call her white cousin yeah. Pandora Box. The whitest white cousin. Let's, let's bring her back. Pandora, I'm so happy to see you, sweetie. I'm happy to see you. You know what? You are our very first guest on our very first hot tea. I know that's crazy. And you know what's crazy? All the hate I got from it. Oh, what? Well, how oh. was Jerry? Now, I, it's been so long. Well, um, you want to you want to rehash the past? I'll rehash it a little bit. Yeah. But it, it, there's two words, Caitlyn Jenner. Oh. oh. I said something, and maybe I didn't phrase it exactly how I meant, but uh -huh. was suggesting that she wasn't authentic. And, oh, uh, wow. Everybody hates her now. Ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> uh, Pandora was right, everyone. You owe her a motherfucking apology. Pandora! 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 What are you doing? No, but about 2007, about a, 2018 is all about love. So let's just love. Even Kate. No, let's not love her. <laughs> no, fuck her. <laughs> and you know what? Let's find out what you can say today to piss off your fans. <laughs> <laughs> oh. No, it's not my fans. <laughs> right, that's true. The track race <laughs> fans. Well, I'm sure today we won't have any problem like that. You're here to promote your new web series, Auntie Pandy Says. <laughs> yes, I am. It's kind of, um, you know, I, I'm a little older. Shh. <laughs> and I realize, but I don't, but the kids are always saying mom. They want the queens to be mom, mom. I'm like, I don't, please don't ever call me that. Mm. <laughs> There's already times I catch myself in the mirror and I see my mother. I don't need to be my mother. <laughs> I love her, but I don't need to be her. So it's like a, a web series of your drunk, fun aunt, and she gives you advice you didn't ask for, you didn't need, and you probably shouldn't use. Well, all right, that sounds good. <laughs> and where can they see it? On my YouTube channel. And Wonderful. Um, now we have one other superstar, one of my most favorite and funniest people in the world, here helping us out with 2017 in review. It's Mr. Teddy Morgan. <laughs> Gagging. I am gagging. I don't search Google. I search gaggle. <laughs> <laughs> now, you might know that we have this award from last year for best YouTube from World of Wonders Wowie Awards. 
And this year we were nominated again. And I said, oh my God, we're up against Tyler Oakley, Todrick, Randy Rainbow, and the rest. And I said, we're never going to win. Let's show up to the ceremony with Shane fans so we can pose angrily when we lose. <laughs> well, we didn't even have to pose angrily because we won again! Yeah! Now the great thing is if there's an earthquake, me and Lady Red don't have to kill each other over which person can get the can of beans. We are finally earthquake proof in this studio, you guys. We got two cans of beans. Let's get our year in review started. We're going to be looking back at some of the most delicious, mmm, scandalous, mmm. Unsubstantiated. Uh -huh. mm. yeah. Alleged. L alleged. <laughs> Lies of the year. <laughs> we, the tabloids have been working hard to make up lies that will keep us interested, and we've been sipping it up all year. So we're going to look back at some of our favorite and most scandalous cups of tea. Are we all ready? Yes! yes. Of course we are. Tea is Up hot. first is one of our most favorite targets on this show. It is, of course, Tommy Cruise oh. with Taking Over Scientology. Oh. Now, we remember this was a big story early in the year because um, the old mysterious, what's his name? Julie, you know what his name David is. David Miscavige. David Miscavige, they were thinking he was going to step down. Because he was probably going to get indicted for a million different things. Right. Yeah. We were thinking he was going to step down and that Tommy boy was oh, going to take it over. That does make sense. Cause... Now, it's, it's been a big year for Scientology. Julie, you're a Scientology expert. Oh, well, I obsessively watch Leah Remini's show. Does yes. anybody else watch it? Yes. Uh-huh. I want to see it. Oh, oh. It's so good. I want to see it. It's so, it's so good. Um, it's the right answer, right? <laughs> yes. David Miscavige basically runs Scientology, and he runs it with a very heavy hand, and he's sick like a criminal and whatever, and the, the whole thing is insane, and he's crazy, and he, like, beats people up, and he killed his wife probably, and there's just, allegedly, and there's just all kinds of shit going on. But I Tom forgot Cruz, about that, Julie, yeah. uh, about David Miscavige's missing wife. She's been missing for, like, ten years. And that's wow. why Leah, that's why Leah... Yeah. That's what started the whole Leah thing. Yes. She simply asked at where's Tom Shelley? Cruise's wedding. Where's Shelly? Hey, where's Shelly? An innocent question. And they were like... We all wanted to know, where was Shelly? I yeah. thought she was by the old herbs, but yeah. she wasn't. No. She was missing. Yeah, she's dead in dead, the ditch. we think, alleged. We think. Of course she is. She's been missing for 10 years. Yeah, she would come out by now. Oh, come on. Or they, she's just being locked in one of those rooms. Remember, they love to lock well, in I a room, true. Pandora. Pandora, do not <laughs> join Scientology, no. Pandora. I know. I I'm caught in thought of it for just a movie role. Yeah. <laughs> and then it's not even working for Tom Cruise because The Mummy was a box office bomb. Oh, word. 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 And I'm kind of like, if I want to watch somebody wall around and it's dead inside, I'll just watch Kellyanne Conway on TV. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Tom actually, Cruise does look good, though. Uh, do you think, Julie, though? Doesn't he? He's 50. He looks like good in that picture. Year, year Let's old. see that picture because I feel like this is an old picture. I think um, it's so an older picture. This is a, oh. That is when he was at his, he was about 50 right there. And he was looking real yeah, good. He looks good there. Yes, he looked amazing. But if you watch The Mummy, like Pandora says. I did watch it. Girl, the fillers are so, full. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The they're, fillers are full, full, and they're making his Not face. just the script. Done. Right. Yes. <laughs> yes. 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 Fuck the script, Pandora. I watch a, a Tom Cruise movie for a sexy Tom Cruise, right. not a filler-faced no. old man with an inappropriate hairdo and a fake butt. <laughs> and remember, the mummy is where he supposedly had a big fake butt. He did? Oh, yeah, there was, watch it again. there was all these he freeze frames padded. where he had this no, round, don't watch it again. glutaceous <laughs> butt. He was padded. It was yeah. padded butt. It was a mattress. It was a Casper mattress back then. <laughs> oh my God. Well, I need to rewatch it now. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to. I'm going to have to. Don't do it. Adam, <laughs> Adam, have you ever been tempted to join Scientology or would you join now that Tommy's taking over? No, I wouldn't. I would definitely not join just for Tommy. He's a terrible father. He doesn't even, he hasn't even seen 
Surrey for the last, what, seven years or something? Yes, we were sure, talking we about it on the Hot Tea Podcast. We were just talking about this yesterday. Yeah, he's, just the other day. 1,487 days <laughs> since Surrey has days. seen her daddy. And she oh. is counting. She has a thing on her wall where she Stick. just scrapes a line. <laughs> and she does five, so by five. Well, didn't Katie Holmes have to take her out on the, the like, still of the night? Like, how to escape and yes, run? Yeah. Yeah. Yes, she did. She did. did. She did. Katie's just been started to be allowed to speak about her relationship with Jamie Foxx after five years because contractually that's what uh, it said in her divorce contract with Tom. She couldn't go public with any relationship for five years. Wow. It's kind of like the contract with Nicole Kidman that if it, their marriage lasted 12 years, she would get more money and it lasted like 11 years and a couple months and then it was done and, and she didn't get as much money. Shucks. Mm. Well, you know what? She got Simon, pregnant, though. She got. She, she didn't get pregnant with him. I know she did not because he can't get, get anyone pregnant. Can't, I don't think because he he's an alien. In, he kept putting it in people's butts. <laughs> yeah, because he can't get it hard to put in a pussy. <laughs> uh, speaking of other undercover gay guys controlled by Scientology, uh -oh. let's take a look at who's under Cruz's evil grip. Who? It's John Travolta! Oh, yeah. This was a great story from earlier this year, the dirty gay sex video. Holding John hostage. There's nothing I like better than a dirty gay sex video holding um, one of my old time favorite stars hostage. I know, but did you, did you know what the dirty gay sex video is? No. Oh my God, well, of course I read dirty gay sex video that's gotta be somewhere on YouTube. Uh -huh. It's not. <laughs> It's it's him being interviewed in his initial, you know, where they do those little the auditing, the auditing, and him talking about being gay. Well, doesn't it allude to the fact that it's like maybe John Travolta getting oh. filled with fillers oh. by Tom Cruise? But what? But you, it's not the dirty gay sex video. Is the video of him just saying I'm gay and then how Scientology was going to help him? Wow. Boring. I mean, I was hoping for, you know, dicks, dicks, yes. dicks, 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 dicks everywhere. Dicks, dicks, dicks. I mean, dicks can't everywhere. Beer can't talk. Beer can't talk. <laughs> Gagging. Yes. On the cockatrice. Exactly. Pandora. I mean, at this point, if he came out, what, what, who would care? Yeah, right? right? No one. No His one. wife. Yeah. Kelly. Is it, she knows. We're worried about Kelly. She knows. She probably likes the, to she lick the a lot of us, too. Yeah. I mean, yeah, this is like, like <laughs> she definitely, they, they seem like a, America's greatest beard or whatever. Yeah, yep. She does seem like a lovely person, but, uh, <laughs> you know, sorry, miss. She, she, wasn't she married to Charlie Sheen or something? Hmm. Kelly? Yes. Kelly Preston? Or with him and she got, she was one of his early girlfriends or something and got in some huge fight. Like she shot him, I think. I think she shot Charlie Sheen. <laughs> I think someone should look it up. So she should be uh, canonized. But I think she she's. <laughs> yeah. I think she's crazy. I think that's someone else's wife that you're thinking of. Wait, is? an actress in Hollywood is crazy. <laughs> no. I know. Can't be. I know. I know. I don't know. I don't well, know if she's. That, but I think she's crazy too. She's got that crazy stare, like. Well, obviously, Scientology has a grip on John Travolta oh, because for real. Not, all this shit has come forward. Oh, he's... All the stuff has happened. All the le You know, I was passing um, the Scientology place the other day yeah. with Sam Pancake, and they tried to come up to us, and Sam said, Leah Remini. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's a Leah thing. Remini. That's what I'm going to say if they ever come. They'll never come up. I in the are in the two books that L. Ron Hubbard wrote, and I don't know the names of them, but he you know he wrote like five thousand Dianetics books. Right. Or yeah. So in one of them, Dianetics one, Dianetics two, Electric Boogaloo. All of it. <laughs> so homosexuality is seen as a perversion and an illness uh -huh. in Scientology, and he also wrote, and it's in writing, that he thinks that homosexuals should all be put in on should be rounded up and institutionalized and or like put on an island somewhere. But in the actual word is institutionalized, which is interesting because L. Ron Hubbard does not believe in anything like with psych like psych psychiatry, psychiatry yeah. and shit. So the, the fact that he said institutional, I just think was interesting because he was such a fucking liar. He was but probably gay himself. He absolutely was gay, absolutely. Yeah, Anybody yeah. who wants to round up all the gays and stick them in a thing is yeah. usually some deep, self-hating homosexual. Yeah. And then his guy kind of goes by a first initial, like Elron. Give me right. a break. That's gay. <laughs> his son was gay. They think his son was gay. His son killed himself. 
Well, who would? I mean, like Elrond wants uh, Elrond. wants all the everyone to renounce their wives and yes, children and yes. dress up in cute little yes. sailor uniform yep. and live on a boat. <laughs> okay, Miss <laughs> Hubbard. Okay, Miss Laron. Her name is not Elrond. It was Laron. Okay, her name was Laron, and she was pissed that everyone would call her Laron. So she's like, you know what? I'm gonna take all these gays. Yeah. I'm gonna write something real mean about them in my book. You know what my book's called? Dianetics, honey. Dianetics. Girl, she Miss was... Laron is not having it. <laughs> Laron was the only poor queen. <laughs> Laron coming to the floor right now is Laron. Laron. The only poor queen. Laron category is suppressive personality. <laughs> Real category is disconnection. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's proof that in this country or this society that you will always find somebody dumb enough to believe what you want them to believe. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. If you commit to it enough, here, we here, can here. go start yes. a religion. Yeah. So true. What will we call the Pandora religion? Mm. Boxism? <laughs> <laughs> box of goods. Bo box of goods? I don't we know. We pray box. to Pandora's box of goods. Of box of You're going to get Everybody's... a lot of con converts from... <laughs> Everybody has to have a name with a box, like my cousin Pizza Box, and uh, <laughs> <laughs> Safety Deposit Box, <laughs> She Robs Banks. That's Girl, the, the house of box is coming to that snatch house. all your religion, <laughs> honey. Uh, well, I'm um, John Travolta. Hope you get out of Scientology probably won't, so in the meantime, might as well just go sit in that weird plane you have parked in your oh, backyard. God. Yeah, and make out with your pilot. Mm -hmm. Right, and make out with your masseuse. Remember? He loves to masseuse, make out with a masseuse. The pilot, and there's pictures of him kissing the pilot. Yes, that is. That's a classic. The pilot, the That's pilot. Classic. Do you think that he dresses up like Edna Turnblad? Does it? Because I feel like <laughs> I feel like he was masturbating in that fat suit he the just, whole time I was watching the movie. That's, you didn't see his hands. You didn't know where they were. You know where they were? Was, down there. <laughs> they were down under Australia. Yes, they were. <laughs> would you call HR or would you go for it, hoping for a bigger tip? I mean. We're not talking, are we talking about Saturday Night Fever, Travolta? Wigless or? and no spanks. <laughs> yeah. ah! Okay. Wow, it's super hot now. Uh -huh. <laughs> that um, gay, Sandy? Yeah, uh, what would I do? I mean, I would probably do it and then try to get some pictures to sell to the National Enquirer ah! and make even more money off of it. I like how shady you are. <laughs> Good work. And now make sure you keep it hot tea exclusive. So get that job uh -huh. at the Beverly Hills Hotel. Yep. Just wait around. And if Job Travolta comes, do it, film it, bring us the stuff. Got okay? It. Yay. Hooray. All right. So it's uh, good that we were talking about Britney Spears because earlier this year, there was a, people real worried about her because she had a new boyfriend and he was real sexy and everyone was warning her, hey, Britney, hey, Britney, he's toxic, Britney, like the song. We're saying it because of the song and you might listen to us because you love your own song. You're like Donald Trump. You love things that you did. Um, oh, baby, baby, how was she supposed to know? Britney Spears has fallen for her uh, co-star, uh, Sam Ascari, from the Slumber Party video she did this year. But the thing is that they are still together. He was oh. not toxic. Wow. Not yet. Not yet. I mean, uh, he's hot, so I'm all right gorgeous. with toxic for a while. Me too, I mean, right? I have it, go into rehab I mean, after. Toxic, I mean, shocks he's, got a, he's got a big toxic piece. So get it, get yes. it, Brittany. Enjoy it. He's 22. He, she better do he's it. He's 22? Yeah, that's what oh, it says. Oh, he has so much fresh dick for her. Do you follow his every Instagram? Day. <laughs> you ever see his Instagram? Yeah. No. Well, let's take a look. In case you didn't he's remember got, what he looks gorgeous. like, this is, oh. let's take a look at him. There's a video. Or, He's 22. A, there's a video or a picture of him working out, and there's some VPL in his like. He's got VPL gym big shorts. time, absolutely yes. What's that? So and good for Britney to get penis it. Penis line. Uh, visible penis line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See and the these head. silver dollar areolas. Oh my oh. god! Oh. Now I love Julia. Oh. You're like VPL. Never heard of it. <laughs> visible <laughs> penis line. One, wow. I guess it could be or pussy, too, pussy but I don't know if you want to see line. that. If you that's like, 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 like Is that a lesbian thing? Do you get turned? You see that? You're no. like, oh, look, look at those lips. They look no, like that fat pussy? No. <laughs> <laughs> look at all her labia. Look at that meat. Look at all that meat. It's visible pussy lips. Yeah, no.
That wouldn't be. Wow, that counts. I think that's a camel tie. Yeah. 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 Well, I think. Once those panties come off, they just. <laughs> 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 It's uh, like, uh, like a steak of like a <laughs> steak of <laughs> oh, oh, gagging, no, I'm gagging, no, no, I'm gagging, 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 I'm gag
And she wow. was like looking I feel like at the her audience. Performances and stuff. have gotten they're better. Like she's, she's there. She's, she's there to start she's dancing. Yeah. She's like like present. She's more. She's present. definitely yeah. present. But she's got her body banging back again. Oh, her, yeah. She's yeah. yeah. She is. She I mean, we've been we, we were dying for top ten years. Everyone was like, oh, if only she was thin again. Then she got <laughs> thin again, and then she was like, by the way, I don't care anymore. So fuck <laughs> off. So I'm gonna make an Instagram of this song in 360. Wow. All right, go go back and watch it. It's sped up. I swear. All right, we will do that. And now, you, Google, you'll find the slow down version. <laughs> now, another pop star who's had quite a year, it truly started off with a bang last year, was Mimi herself, Miss Mariah Carey. Yay! Yay! Um, now, she is, we covered her this year for many things, but Brian, Brian and Mariah's Money Matters was one of them. Now, we all saw yes. on her ill-fated reality show, Mariah's World. <laughs> Show that ever. she had, would, had dumped her James Packer fiance and started getting with her 33 year old backup dancer Brian Tanaka, ah. who we are a fan of his lean body and our fantasy of his beer can cock. <laughs> um, you know, one can dream. <laughs> um, yeah, but this year, you know, they are still together though. Wow. Adam, you're a pop star. More importantly than Mariah and her boy toy, what's going on with Mariah's voice? What is the problem, Adam? You are See, the most penultimate musician around. I, I, I don't know. I mean, I heard that she smokes a lot of cigarettes. Mariah and does. That can. Oh, I've never seen this. Yeah, and you know, obviously, that can take its toll on your voice, especially when you're trying to sing songs you recorded when you were 21 years old. There's whistle. You know, eyes. 20 years later. Yeah. Um, I mean, is it that but even possible? It, it's to, totally possible. But, I mean, have you seen Barbara's Netflix special? Yes. No, but I know Barbara. Oh, she so sounds good. so good. She sounds so good. You know, but, and that's the thing. Some people, it. It, it just depends on how you're using your voice. I guess voice. it's just those high notes. Like, it's like, well, how I mean, long can you hit that? Mariah those? is one of the highest belters in pop music history. So I can understand how it might not be working out for her now, yeah. 20 years later. But in my opinion, it's like she was doing all this shit before auto tune and all that processing. You listen to her live um, record, unplugged, MTV yeah. Unplugged, and she sounds amazing. So it's like, you know what? You did it. It's good for you. You had it at one point. You might not be able to del deliver every night now, but I think that she can. I've still heard or you know, seen stuff where she's singing and she's still, it's not like she lost her voice completely. I think she has yeah. good and bad days. And, um, you know, but she's still honestly like 100 times more talented than most of these new bitches coming yeah. out. Well, I well, think so. Too. Well said. Yeah, what I'm are you just, gonna, you know, why do you have to hate on her because she doesn't sound exactly like she did 20 years ago? No, and that's my thing too. It's like, why can she, can't she just do the songs? And just not do the high notes, like I said, because yeah. everybody wants it and she has to do it. Yeah. But I'm kind of like, I don't. It's 20 years later that you don't. I don't. You don't have to. Yeah. To yeah. do that note all That's the time. Yeah. Like yeah. I just yeah. want you to come out and be good. Right. She wrote a lot of those notes in, though. I mean, like. Yeah. It, no, emotions. Right. You can't right. get that through emotion. without singing. Well, well, that, well uh, we have to remember. Universe. Wasn't it last? New Year's Eve that she um, completely yes. bombed. That she last just, New Year's Eve was when we heard that she was like, da -da 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 -da. and she was just like, no, I'm not doing it. She, <laughs> she I just, can't. She, I can't hear myself. She's like, and <laughs> no, I'm dead. But uh, Mariah, we still love you. We still love your uh, missing high notes. <laughs> Keep having a splash, darling. But the cigarettes, that was really the gossip to me. Yeah. Smoking cigarettes. Yeah, I've heard that's a little terrible. That's terrible. like Aretha. Oh, I lost the high notes because of cigarettes, too. Mm -hmm. Anyway, let's move on to a more lesbian story, the best lesbian story of the year. Picked here particularly because we know Julie Goldman likes it. Uh, Let's take a look back at a story about an old lady oh. and a slightly younger lady oh. in Booth and Juice. It was Jealous oh, Holland man. pushing Sarah oh, away. Oh. These 
two wow. stars have been in May, December item for two years. The green eyed monster suddenly bit Holland, said a pal. And the green eyed monster is jealousy. Yeah. Not a weird monster she's hallucinating because she's taking old people <laughs> uh, dead drugs or whatever. Dead <laughs> drugs. <laughs> My God. <laughs> uh, uh, it's me, Holland. <laughs> I want to let you know I broke up with Sarah. <laughs> I'll put my teeth in for you. I do love Holland Taylor. I do love Holland Taylor. Yeah, I know you do. We no. saw her at the Tower Bar, and I was really starstruck. Ah. Like, I was like, there's fucking she's Holland been, I mean, she's been in so many things. And so like many things. Legendary. Always and legendary hilarious. Things, true. Always, always, great, always amazing. Amazing. She's had some iconic roles. Like yeah. Uh, yeah, and always, like, um, She's like a lady that's always a put together. Job. Hey, wasn't she in It's a Living, that 90s TV I show? I think she was. She was like, she was Because <laughs> that's my, that's one of my favorites. That like, is the shit. She was in TV shows. She was in Bosom Buddies. Oh, Bosom Buddies. Yeah. Yeah. She was in Bosom Buddies. And Cheryl Lee Rome, yeah. <laughs> Cheryl Lee Rome. Yep. Yeah. Oh, God. You know what? Forget this story about Holland and Sarah. Let's Jeez. go back to old stuff on the TV shows from when we were well, she's she's All the kids will love it. Well, Holland Taylor, 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 Taylor was in fame. She played the rich girl's mother who brought That's home right. Leroy. Wow. wow. I'm watching. I, I, right? Isn't that crazy? I said earlier, I want to watch Fame. You did. She uh, was in Fame. <laughs> she's one of those actresses, too, that's in so many things that you kind of forget. You forget. Yes. You go back in your life because she's mm -hmm. done Love so her. many amazing things. Well, I mean, I you know, I, I don't mind a, a May December romance, can be quite uh -huh. exciting. May, I think no, I've we've heard all that been there. You know? Good staff in May, December. <laughs> uh, it's good, you know, for, uh, for an older person, a younger person keeps you. Young, you know, and for never <laughs> heard of it, Julie. <laughs> younger, never heard of it, uh, Julie. Julie. <laughs> Julie. And an older Julie. person keeps a younger person nothing. So, you well, know, keeps them fresh, Julie, because fresh. like a skexy in the dark crystal, <laughs> when you make love to a younger person, you <laughs> steal. There it is. Yeah. <laughs> now, if nothing I learned from Winifred Sanderson, it was to just take a little. Dive from your lung. <laughs> <laughs> Julie, are they still together? I believe they're still together, and they write each other romantic tweets. And I mean, I, you know, the, I'm disgusting. So I look at a 35 year age difference. Of course, Helen Taylor's like 75 years old, mm. and Sarah Paulson's 40, whatever. And I, you know, whatever anybody does in the bedroom is their own personal fun. But I do wonder. Yeah. I do. I do wonder. I mean, because, you know, you know. I can't imagine, you know, she's 70 something years old, she can't. Maybe it's just a cuddle relationship. Yeah, I mean, I, I, you cuddle. know what I mean? Yeah, they're, I mean, they're, like. They're, I'm not judging it, but I know if it were me and I was with a 70 year old, I'd be scared to hurt her. her. Yeah, <laughs> or a, she'd be like, you know, Julie, yeah. get in my pussy. You <laughs> 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 hide. I think it has to be, I think they would have to be real gentle. Yeah. Julie, let's play Anne Frank. I'm the <laughs> addict. Oh. oh. From this year that we loved, yeah. and it was a story about my love. My love. My love. My love. <laughs> my love. My love. To get revenge against you and your sister, my love. My love, yeah. Oh, my loves are more beautiful than me now, my love. My love, would you like some tick cookies, my, <laughs> my love? love? Or my maybe love. some God. crunchy tick popcorn, I mean? <laughs> I love. wouldn't want you to get Lyme, my love. No, I didn't give Lyme disease to all three of my own children, my love. Exactly. It turns out it is Munchausen, my love. Oh. <laughs> my love. I'm an evil genius, my love. I feel like we talked about her on the first episode. <laughs> This my love thing. I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about? But I'm like, I'm getting sense memory. Yes. Yes. And I have no clue who you're talking about. <laughs> well, She's going to give Catherine McPhee Lyme disease, too. <laughs> she is. She's like, uh, Catherine, I want to let you know I sent you a lovely envelope, beautiful stationery, a thank you note. Mm -hmm. And right on it is you just kiss the letter with your mouth and lick it. It's a tick, my love. I use tick paper and tick ink. <laughs> 
Lyme um, disease. My, yeah, no, I'm, right. I'm definitely right. It's, it's all coming back. Uh, uh, yes, we're, uh, we can go on forever about Yolanda, the mother of Gigi and Bellani. Um, apparently, this uh, this article was was the biggest lie of all. Jealous Yolanda's revenge against Gigi and Bella. Uh, no. No way. Not even. Not no. no. She's not catty and she's not competitive. And she's loving every fucking she's minute. So proud of she's them. She's changed her last name to Hadid. She's she, oh, did, so really? Proud of yeah, her. she went back because she said, "Fuck David Foster." Wow. She said, "I'm going back to Hadid so I can be, you know, my named, my daughter's my daughter's mother." Yeah, right. Okay, and no, this year we'll see her on Lifetime again, Pandy, and Model Moms. Oh. Yes. Yes. Pandy's like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, she's going Model to be moms. having a competition, my love. Having uh, young models, my love. Yes, and their I'm moms, not. my love. Oh, I'm watching. Uh, do you, we'll start watching together. Okay. My love. When does it premiere? Do we know? We'll find out. Okay. There's way more delicious stories to cover, but we're going to continue our countdown of our favorite, most delicious tea next week. But in the meantime, we wanted to give you a fresh, delicious release the cracker! <laughs> Merry New Year, Julie. <laughs> Happy <laughs> Christmas, Julie. <laughs> Merry Hanukkah, Julie. Yeah. Happy holidays, Julie. I mean, that Photoshop, uh, that made you look exactly how you are. Yeah, <laughs> I never look so slim. Um, all right, so even though these are our special year-end, rear-end review episodes, you always got to have a fresh cup of Kraken. So <laughs> let's show Julie something that's going to piss her off. Let's see. I didn't even really look at these. Okay, get oh, oh, oh. oh, this was good. And you think the Kraken were coming for our own this time. Gay couples to be deported for bearing bums in front of historic temples. Now, these dumbasses were in a Thai jail for uh, taking pictures in front of holy landmarks with their asses out. I, Julie. I, I, you know what? I hope you see. You know, what, what was that movie with Claire Danes and then they got, we're in Thailand, they got mm -hmm. put in jail. Oh. Dark. Oh. And it was like they, the, they didn't sell the drugs, but they were used down as, Broke Down Palace. Broke Down Palace. Yeah. yeah. Broke Down Palace, you two. <laughs> 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 broke Down Palace, okay? That's you two. You are fucking morons. I don't understand what you're doing. Why are you, you have a, fine, your Instagram is traveling butts, and we got your durable. You're adorable traveling bots, you're adorable bots, and you just take your bots and you go around the world and you show your bots because your <laughs> bots are so fucking hot. Well, your bots are in jail now, you fucking assholes. Like, why are you in a place? You know that you're in a place where they don't want you fucking showing your butt. I mean, I, I, and you're in Thailand and it's Buddhist. It's like a, it's like you're go you're not like a Saudi Arabia. Now, had you been in Saudi Arabia and whipped your dick out, dicks out and started sucking them, then I might have some respect for you. Like, you know what I mean? You're really rebelling there. You're really trying it, you're ah. risking something. <laughs> yeah. you you could literally die. Well, they would have died. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. But you're in Thailand where they're Buddhists and they're just like trying to be peaceful. Maybe in Bangkok where they're fucking kids. But still, you're in Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you don't need to be doing it. And I'm glad you were in jail. I wish you'd stay longer in jail. And I hope that like, I, 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 I'm just so irritated by this. I'm so irritated. Agreed. There's such fucking, just more. I, I just looked at that and was like, you're morons. You're morons, is what you are. You are fucking idiots, okay? Look, take your butts and fuck off. That's what I said. Oh, well said, Julie. Well, I'm so sorry. well, there is a no. That was that was about right, Julie. This is what that when I saw their Instagram's traveling butts. This is what how I look. I, this is my face. Uh, well, they got out of jail, so hey, uh, buttheads, don't be such assholes. <laughs> don't be such assholes. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, what, what's the point? So stupid. It's just like not cute. So. It's not cute. You're too. It's you're, it's not a good look. Like you're not cute. It's and, inappropriate. And, you're not gonna go to the Vatican and do pictures of your butt out. Or maybe so they don't will. go to anyone else's <laughs> holy fucking thing. Maybe they thing. will. It's oh. just like who, nobody At needs it. At the Vatican, they'd not... probably be like, "Come in." <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> too old. Too All old. All right. All right. Well, um, there's still many more stories to review of our favorite tea of 2017, but we'll have to continue next week. I'd like to thank Mr. Julie Goldman. Thank you, uh, Daddy. Yeah. Mr. Adamita Josephinta. Yeah. 
Yeah. You can get Adam. Where can we hear all of your amazing bit tracks that you made this past year? Go to my website, ajomusic.com. Ajomusic.com. Yeah. Ajo. And Miss Pandora Box, Auntie Pandy says, is on YouTube now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And of course, Mr. Teddy Margus. Gagatry. <laughs> you can hear Teddy Margus on the Hey Queen Hot Tea podcast, podcast with me, Lady Red, and Teddy every week. New episodes every Friday. It's a completely, totally different show than this. We get we choose a tabloid every week, read the stories, and grade them so you don't have to buy those expensive mm -hmm. tabloids. Honey, yes. it's juicy and delicious, so make sure you subscribe and review now on iTunes. We'll see you next time on <laughs> Hey Queen and Hot Tea.